this video we are going to make this header part of whatsapp web chat page so first we will do all the html part and then we will do all the css part so back in our vs code i have an as chat page dot html file inside this file i have some html boilerplate i have linked the bootstrap with this html file now inside the body tag make a div with container fluid class along with the wrapper class inside container fluid div make a div with the row class inside row div make a div with sidebar class then we have a div with the left header class inside the left header div we have a div with top bar class along with some bootstrap classes display flex justify content center and align item center inside the top bar div we have a div with the left class along with the display flex justify content start and align item center bootstrap classes inside the left div we have a div with dp image class which will store the dp image like this inside the dp image div start an image tag and give it the width of 40 and height of 40 now give the class of image and rounded circle to this image tag i have used the unsplash api to generate random images now we have a div with right class along with the display flex justify content between and align, align item center class this div will store all the icon present on the right side these three icons inside the right div let's have a div with status icon class this div will store this status icon inside this div we have the svg of status icon this icon now we have a div with contact icon class which will store this icon inside this div we have the svg of contact icon then after we have a div with three dots class which will store the icon of these three dots we have svg of the three dots inside the three dots div so that's all for the html part now we will do the css part inside the chat page dot css file now it's time to do the css part before moving towards the css part let's preview our html file in our browser i am using the live server extension you can see this is the preview of our html file now in chat page.css file we have the universal selector inside the universal selector we have given the padding to 0 pixel margin to 0 pixel and border to none then we have selected the container fluid class and we have given a padding to 0 pixel Then after we have selected the row class inside the wrapper class and we have given the width of 100% and box sizing of border box. Then we have selected the sidebar class inside the row class and we have given the width of 30% and height of 110 pixels. Then we have selected the left header inside the sidebar class and we have given 
the height of 100% then we have selected the top bar class inside the left header class and we have given the height of 55% padding from top and bottom to 5 pixel and from left and right to 0 pixel then we have background color of 202C33 then we have selected the left class inside the top bar class and we have given the width of 70% and padding left to 25 pixel then after we have selected the right class inside the top bar class and we have given the width of 30% and padding right to 10 pixel so that's all for our CSS part now let's check our HTML preview so you can see this is the preview of our HTML page in the next video we will implement the search bar here you can see this search bar so meet you in the next video have a good day